Champions League football is back tomorrow night. Manchester United travelling to Young Boys in Switzerland. An easy start on paper for Manchester United back in the Champions League this year. But let's see what goes on in Switzerland. And Man United come into this off the back of two wins. The Burnley game buried those games against Brighton and Spurs. And we built on that against Watford. The best 45 minutes that first half. For me, anyway, best 45 minutes of football this season. Not only were we in complete control like we were against Spurs, but we scored two goals, importantly. And we went on to hold on. That in the, in the, As soon as Watford scored one, I was a bit, oh, shit, what's going to happen here? We held on. And now we've got two wins on the bounce, and we go into the European football with a bit of confidence back in our veins. And we needed that. We really, really did. And here, if you don't know already, is the travelling squad for Manchester United. It's all the usual suspects, but there are a couple of... Notable things. Luke Shaw is back in the squad um, after being rested against Watford, rightly, I think, as well. Now, Diogo Dalot, he's also in the squad. And more importantly, I suppose, in that respect, is Antonio Valencia has been left out and so is Jesse Lingard, both obviously being rested by Jose Mourinho. Now, with Valencia out, that gives Mourinho the option to give Dalot his debut. Now, he said before the Watford game, because uh, Dalot played for the under-23s prior to that, he said if he can come through 90 minutes of that, he's ready for action and he did get through 90 minutes. So I've got him in my predicted start 11 for the game. As you can see, there's mine there. Let me know what yours would be in the comments. Now I'm gonna go for Romero in goal because I think Mourinho might be rotating his keepers again in European football, well, in certain games anyway. And I think he might do it in this one because he likes Romero, they've got a good relationship and I think he wants to give him a few games. So that's why I think I'm gonna put Romero in here. Now Luke Shaw coming in back in at left back with a centre back partnership Probably of Lindelof and Smalling. Smalling, fantastic against Watford. He can keep that up. He can start every single week for Manchester United. I still don't really think he's that good, though, in terms of playing out from the back, but that's a different video altogether. Smalling alongside Lindelof. Lindelof needs to turn himself... At I don't know what Lindelof needs. Had a great World Cup with Sweden. Came in, you think, you know, this is his time now. Made some catastrophic mistakes towards the start of the season. Those individual mistakes that defenders are remembered for. And you don't want Lindelof to do any more of those. So I'm going to start him alongside Smalling rather than Bay. I think Lindelof and Bay right now, anyway, it's not really a partnership that works. They're too hot-headed, both of them. Now, right back, you could put Ashley Young there, you could put Matteo Darmi in there, but I'd love to see Jose Mourinho putting Delot there. I think making his debut in a European game is an easier introduction to life as a Manchester United player because the pace is slower there than it is in the Premier League and it'll be a good way for United fans to see what Delot can do. So let me know what you think, whether you would start him there. Now, in midfield, I've gone for McTominay, Pogba and Fred. Now I'm going to give Matic a rest because last season we used him way too much. And this year we need to rest and rotate him. You could put Andreas Pereira in there. But I think away from Europe, away from home in Europe, sorry, Mourinho, he's going to be playing for the draws. He wants three wins at home in the Champions League and a point away. That's the way it works in group stage football. That's the way that Mourinho has won the Champions League multiple times. I've got to trust in whatever he does, although the stuff against Sevilla last year, probably the worst moment for Mourinho as United manager so far. But I'm going to start McTominay there behind Pogba and Fred. Fred obviously rested or dropped for the Watford game and Pogba had a great game against Watford. He really doesn't need to score or get an assist to have a great game. He just needs to control the midfield and control the tempo. And he did that against Watford. And I keep him in here so we can do the exact same thing against young boys. Now up front, I've gone for a front three of Sanchez, of Lukaku and of Rashford. Now Rashford is banned for a couple of games in the Premier League. So maybe this is where we're going to see him. Well, in this game, maybe the next one. I think we've got Derby next. So by the time that happens, he'll actually be back. So maybe not. The front three is a question mark, really, as to who Jose Mourinho would choose. Alexis Sanchez is bang out of form. Lukaku is the only one scoring goals. Martial hasn't been performing when he's come off the bench. And Rashford obviously got sent off against Burnley. So Lukaku is the only striker or attacker that Mourinho's got any faith in so far this season. So any number of, any front three could happen. But Jesse Lingard's not in it. I don't think we should be starting one matter there. He's too slow. What would your front three? I've gone for Sanchez on the left, Lukaku up front and Rashford on the right. But who would you play against young boys? This is a game where Manchester United, yes, should be looking for three points. But this is Jose Mourinho and this is European football. I expect us to be quite pragmatic in how we set up. Or maybe it's going to turn out like CSK in Moscow away a couple of years back when that was 4-1. Let me know what your match prediction is. Um, let me know what your start 11 would be in the comments below. For me, I'm predicting a draw. As I said, I think it's, 
I think this could turn out to be a nil-nil. If I'm being perfectly honest, it strikes me as that sort of game. But let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. If you're new to United People's TV, drop a like on the video. We'll be here tomorrow night, as always, with a match reaction after United's game against Young Boys. Until then, take it easy.